Alrighty, welcome back. It is good to be back. And uh, like I said in my intro yesterday, uh, the twins are home. Everyone's happy. Everyone's healthy. We're doing great. And uh, I'm gonna be recording here and there. Like I mentioned, won't be uh, won't be one a day. Not not yet. Got to build back up. But uh, I'll be putting up some videos where I can. Of course, uh, I've got plenty to attend to here. But I can sneak away for a video or two. And uh, today we're gonna be doing Foundations Draft. I've actually liked this format a lot. I've hit Mythic because uh, playing on my phone is nice. And uh, I draft blue a lot. Part of the reason probably I like the format. I'm gonna be taking Micromancer. Have to find some good one mana spells. That shouldn't be too hard. Flame Wake Phoenix is decent, but I think committing to a double red card is not where you want to start. I almost always draft blue or black, obviously in combination, but like one of those two colors is free, pretty much always in my deck. So, you know, I don't really want to start with a red card. Green is the color I draft least, and I, I think that you should generally try to avoid it. Okay, here we've got Balmor, Battle Mage Captain. It's pretty strong. Two mana, one, three flying. When you cast instant or sorcery, your whole squad gets plus one, plus one, and trample. But uh, I think blue-red is just okay. I mean, it can be good. I've drafted a lot of good blue-red decks, but I would rather just take Big Fin Bouncer, 4-mana, 3-2 Bounce, and to go with Micromancer. Love to pick up Fleeting Distraction. You can tutor for it with the Mancer. Maybe it'll wheel here, but if it doesn't, Strix Lookout has a decent chance, or Balmor itself. Either way, I'm going to take the, the Big Fin Bouncer and follow it up with... Oh, I love Think Twice. This card is awesome. This this plays to multiple good themes. There are cards that key off drawing your second card for a turn, like Mischievous Mystic or Erudite uh, Wizard. The the 3 mana 2-3 gets a plus plus one counter. There's also Spells Matters cards like Tolerian Serpent. And it's just a good value card. This format's not the fastest, you know, so getting a dice 2 for 1 is awesome. Plus, the next best card here is... I don't even know. There's nothing that I really want to take, so I'm pretty happy just taking Think Twice here. And here I can take the Clinquant Sky Mage. I guess I will. Four mana, one on flying. When you draw a card, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. I think it's just okay. It's a four drop. I already have two of those. If it gets big, they just bounce or kill it a lot of the time. But I don't think Heartfire Immolator, Hungry Ghoul, or Prideful Parent are enough to take a non-blue card here. So I'm mostly looking to be like blue-black or blue-white. Some amount of blue-red, though. Getting a fifth pick, Dreadwing Scavenger. This is perfect. Three mana, 2-2 two, two flying. Loots when you attack or when you play it. And when you have Threshold, it's a 3-3 three, three Death Toucher. Fantastic card. So getting it fifth pick is also such a good sign. So with Uncharted Voyage and Runaway Together still in the pack, nonetheless. All right, I like where we're at. This is exactly the lane I want to be in. The two best colors. A lot of cards that go well. Like Think Twice, it also is really nice in blue-black because you have self-mill and discard. So a lot of ways to get value here. And then here, look, there's a Refute, a Counter, plus Loot, and the Uncharted Voyage. We've seen this card in every set, basically. i uh, actually going to take Refute. I've got a bunch of fours already, and I found Refute to be pretty good. Sometimes you can just counter their one good spell, or draw a card and discard a card is really nice with, like, the Sky Mage, and Think Twice, and Scavenger. It's just an all-around pretty good card. And then here, I think I'll just take Diagraph Ghoul. It's not like it's amazing, but it's a fine early play. And Light Shell Duo, I tend not to play that much. Just, I don't need another four in this deck in particular, and in most decks. It's just four is a pretty contested slot, so it's one of the worst fours. So I'd rather just take a card that uh, I think could just fill out my curve a little better. Ooh, and look at that. Fleeting Distraction. This isn't the one that wheeled. This is eighth pick, but that means I could still get that one too. And again, Fleeting Distraction, a lot of the same things that reasons that Think Twice is good. So is Fleeting Distraction, and it's even something for the Micromancer. Though Stab is the other card I'm really looking for. The one black, give a creature minus two, minus two. Evolving Wilds, also a, a good card, but I would rather just take the Fleeting Distraction. I also wanted to note that the Power Max Cube goes live on Vintage, actually it's about the same time you're watching this video, so uh, I'll try to get some of those and that sounds a lot of fun, but I figured I'd do a Foundations Draft since I had the time to bridge the gap. Here, I guess I'll take Light Shell Duo. I, I, I don't think I'm going to play Thornwood Falls. There's not really any green cards worth splashing, and blue-green is just not... You just don't want to put green in your deck. I think green is really bad in Foundations. I, 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 I don't recall the last time I had a green card or a forest in my deck. It was like probably 20 drafts ago or something, maybe more. So yeah, the blue-green land, not really that interesting to me. Oh, boom, Fleeting Distraction came back. Perfect. The other thing is, uh, this deck could also not be black. Dreadwing Scavenger is not a card I want to move away from. It's an excellent card, but then I already have a Light Shield Duo. I guess I'll just take Incinerating Blast just in case. But uh, yeah, look, there's an Elsworn Giant. But if I open like a great, you know, like white or red card or something, I do only have one good black card. I have all blue cards. That's a pretty nice place to be. 
And another quick draw katana. Don't, last pick, red white. Oh, interesting. Oh, extravagant replication. This card's fun, but I don't think it's that good. Six man enchantment, it copies something on your upkeep, but you have to have something else in play. And Eaten Alive is not only a good removal spell, it's really good to get with uh, Micromancer. So I think I'll just be taking Eaten Alive here. And all right, probably not moving away from black at this point. Ooh, there we go. Nice little blue mythic. Four mana, three, three flying flash, which is already good. I would just be in for that. And when it attacks, it snapcaster mage is one of your spells. So uh, a lot of good spells to replay here. There's an erudite wizard and a gutless plunder that I wouldn't mind. But uh, obviously I'm going to take the sphinx here. All right, this is shaping up to be a really good deck. I, I love it. I didn't cherry pick. This is just my first draft back, and uh, I feel pretty good about this in before I go 2-3, but I, I like the start at least. We're, you know, barely into pack two, and I feel like uh, things are going really well. Oh, okay. Jeez, this pack has like six cards I want. Stab, Burglar Rat, Bake into a Pie, Tiller and Terror. These are all great, and of these, Stab would be the best because it's cheap and gets with Micromancer, but there's also Runescar Demon and Spectral Sailor. Runes card demon's pretty good, but I think I'm just going to take the Sailor. It's a one mana play that draws you extra cards. It's a must kill threat, and it can just attack or block. You know, oh well, it doesn't block all that well, but I just think it, a really powerful little cheap card is where I want to be. And I don't think anything's going to wheel, but I mean, I guess if like the blue red land veteran and make your move get taken, one of these five cards could wheel. Well, let's hope for that, I suppose. Oh, Consuming Aberration. So it's as big as the number of cards in their graveyard, and whenever I cast a spell, you mill until you hit a land? Sure, this looks good. There's also Tillerian Terror, but I'm not the most Tillerian Terror deck. I only have four spells. The Pilfer would be a fifth, but I'll take the Aberration. I haven't played with that one yet in this format. And then here there's a Refute and a Vampire Gourmand. Gourmand is better than Hungry Ghoul. When it attacks, you sack a creature to draw a card and make it unblockable. It's also Macabre Waltz, which would be good, but I think just a second Refute in my, uh, you know, deck that can leave up Sphinx and Spectral Sailor activations and whatnot. Refute I find to be pretty good. Oh, Skyship Buccaneer. Five mana, four, three flying, and if you've attacked this turn, you draw a card. Another fantastic card. Eaten Alive is good too, but Buccaneer is fantastic. And then here I'm going to take Uncharted Voyage over a second Sky Mage. I'd rather just have a good removal spell, interaction spell, than a 1-1 that takes some time to grow. Though the Sky Mage looks good in this deck. I have a lot of ways to draw extra cards. This deck is nice. I mean, this pack we're getting hooked up. <laughs> it's funny, like picks like three through six were better than my first two picks. And my first two picks were totally fine. So, well, actually, no, never mind. Sphinx was actually my second pick. Okay, better than my first pick at least. But in any case, uh, I, I like where we're at. And the curve is getting a little high, which is why I'm glad I took Spectral Sailor over Runescar Demon. But uh, yeah, two five drops, a bunch of fours. I could also take out the Sky Mage if I really need to. And... Having, you know, Diagraph Ghoul, I think Spectral Sailor, early plays, I, I could use some stabs. That would be really nice. Here, so I have 16 playables. I think I'm going to take Evolving Wilds or, over a second voyage. I'm already looking at, like, cutting a four drop, and this isn't so much a fake your own death deck. I like having Evolving Wilds because I, I like just having a slightly better mana. Just being able to cast my spells is good, and for threshold cards, it's nice, too. Mocking Sprite, I tend not to play. I guess I'll take it just in case, but it doesn't... The, the, the power and toughness aren't quite there. The ability doesn't always come up, so I'm happy enough not taking it. Mischievous Mystic would be a, an amazing card to find. That's one of the blue for a 2-1 flyer. When you draw your second card, you make a 1-1 flyer. It's, it's an excellent one. Um, you know what? I'll let the red and green players have their fun. Okay, Burglar out, wheeled out of that nuts pack, and I'm happy enough to take it. Oh, Telerian Terror also came back, and Hungry Ghoul. So uh, those last couple cards and Witness Protection are all easily cuttable. <laughs> I opened six mana, five, five, flying, uncounterable that casts Factor Fiction, well, of sorts. All right, well, there's a stab in the pack too, and that card would be good, but I'm going to take my six drop Rare Sphinx. All right, now I just need some cheap cards. Oh, uh, this was a pretty bad pack to see, huh? Mm. I don't really want any of these cards. Huh? When it, I guess I, I got a good first pick, at least. Tolarian Terror also is not looking very good in this deck. So basically, now that I have the, the Curator of Destinies, the Six Drop Sphinx, Consuming Aberration, Skyship Buccaneer, and other Sphinx, I just want cards that'll get me to that point. I wonder if Heraldic Banner is something. I have a decent amount of creatures. 
and it accelerates me. All right, I guess I'll take that because the rest of the cards just don't don't seem good. Okay, I'll take another Eaten Alive. I can sack a Burglar Rat to it, and I can just cast it for five mana. And I don't think Pilfer's as good. And same, an Uncharted Voyage is a little expensive. Oh, Big Fin Bouncer. This is what I'm talking about. Diagraph Goal would actually have been a fine pickup, but the Bouncer is the kind of card that will keep me alive nicely. So right now, this is, this is 23 cards, but... The Sky Mage is like the opposite thing I want. I don't want a four mana card that can't block and take some time to rev up. I actually think Witness Protection might be decent here. I tend to play either zero or one of these, but having having a way to like answer their four or five mana creature is pretty good, even if it gives them a one one. And I really could, oh, Hungry Ghoul I don't really want right now. I could use more Burglar Rats though. Speak of the Cheon. All right, Burglar Rat is in. Now, now my two Eaten Lives get a lot better. And uh, there was a burst lightning there. That's a good card. But uh, I just want early plays to make. Because once I start casting these fours, fives, and sixes, I think I'm going to win pretty easily. A stab would be an amazing pickup. I don't think I'm going to get one this late. But it's, it's you know, it's possible. Um, not going to play a second witness protection. Not going to play a blood chief or blood thief. Imprison in the moon is kind of like a path to exile. I, I like witness protection more, honestly. I'll take campus guide and put it directly in the sideboard. <laughs> Oh, another Think Twice or a Rune Sealed Wall. I do like both these cards. Mm, look, oh, looking at my curve here, you know, the wall actually looks pretty good. I, I kind of, I'm not also not playing the spells deck or the draw two deck. Like even these fleeting distractions aren't like the nuts in this deck. They're they're good because they're just a fine card. They get my get into my graveyard for the scavenger i can get them with micromancer i can flash them back with sphinx so they have a little bit going on but i'm not playing telerian terror like when you have two telerian terrors in your deck you want those a ton this deck is more just like a good blue black bombs deck <laughs> good good work if you can get it honestly with a six drop a five drop and another pretty strong five drop and a really strong four drop like i the, the these four cards I guess the Skyship Buccaneer, the least of them. The other three are just engines that will win me the game pretty easily. Well, Tatiova could be the green card I would have splashed, but uh, I'm not really looking to splash in this deck. I could take Vampire Soul Caller. I mean, this card is fine, but this deck does not want a five drop that can't block. And, you know, I'll take it. I just don't think I'm that likely to play it. Oh, Aegis Turtle, though I am. I actually am going to play this card. Aegis Turtle is a good early play that will just keep me alive. And I guess I'll take the zombie, though. I'm not going to play that either. Pilfer I actually could play. In fact, I probably will, because now I can probably take out this Diagraph Ghoul. Well, I'll take both Diagraph Ghouls out. I think I'd rather have an 05 than a 2-2. And uh, I think that, for the most part, this deck is about ready. I, I do often play 16 lands when I have a bunch of cantrips in this format. Maybe I just... Take out the heraldic banner. I have all these fours. So I just take out that. 9-7 and Involving Wilds. Yeah, this deck looks great. Uh, I don't think I want the, the Diagraph Ghouls. Don't want the Tlarian Terror, no. All right, let's get in there and uh, see how this does. Alrighty, time for round one. I'm 99% Mythic, so get some wins here. I could go up on that number. Uh, yeah, on the draw, you got to keep this hand. One island, I've got like... Tons, tons of zero fives and zero sixes, but between the the turtle, the wall, the rat, and the distraction, I feel pretty good about not only surviving to get to cast curator, but drawing some blue. It starts with one island, but one island, then I should be set. See, look at that. Let's get the big turts into play. So they don't have stab in their hand. We can already deduce that because the auto tapper didn't just pass through. Um, let's. Let's discard Burglar Rat. I kind of feel like my cards are better than theirs. I'd rather just keep a cantrip, because the, the only options there are to discard Fleeting Distraction or Burglar Rat. And I'd rather just discard the cantrip. Oh, they have a raid card? Uh, oh, the Gutless Plunder. I see. Oh, are they just trying to see if I'd block? All right. Well, let's cast Think Twice. Strong. Let's get this wall into play. <laughs> Mega walls. Turtle can't attack for raid purposes. Gonna get hit for two here. I could upkeep surveil. I don't think I really need to do that. Okay, another flyer tapping blue, blue. Interesting. Um, 
Let's just pass here, I guess. I'm probably going to think twice in Fleeting Distraction. Unfortunately, I can't play Consuming Aberration. Discarding Burglar Rat over Fleeting Distraction didn't work out in that regard. But hopefully I find something to do here. I mean, the Sphinx is going to be amazing regardless. All right, so let's Surveil. Yeah, that's, that's actually fine. Think twice. They're going to kill my wall. <laughs> sure. Fleeting distraction, my wall in response. Just want to get some cycling. Now I can actually play this Consuming Aberration because they have a card in their graveyard. Which isn't right. Nice. Um, <laughs> if they have a way to get the card out of their graveyard, they can kill my Consuming Aberration, but I don't think that's very likely. So when I cast a spell, this will be a pretty good, good game. What? Okay, this person is kind of annoying, I guess. I mean, I can live with that. I've drawn all lands, which is fine, because I have this thing. Let's see. <laughs> um, the top pile will be face down. So let's go. I think they're going to give me the face up pile. Let's, let's do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could put Micromancer in the face-up pile, or I could have put Eaten Alive in the face-up pile, but this seemed better. All right. I guess if they kill the Sphinx, that's pretty bad for me. Oh, Witness Protection. Huh. Um, let's chump the Banshee, take some damage here, and then... I can play Micromancer, and I could, at some point I can Uncharted Voyage my Sphinx, which I probably will do. Let's see, I go to nine here. Oh, Burglar Rat is actually pretty nice here. So let's go Burglar Rat. Get a card out of their hand. It's probably a decent one. Yeah, that is a pretty good one. Micromancer, and I think I'm just going to get the other Eaten Alive. Land, Eaten Alive, sack a creature, target the Mocking Sprite. I just want to reduce how much damage I'm taking here. And I've got Micromancer to block the Banshee. I mean, if they kill the Micromancer here, I'm not loving my spot. But, okay, I'll block there. They have fleeting distraction? No, fake your own death. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to lose to the good game person. Love that. <laughs> and... Cool. It's funny because I kept a hand where I thought the most likely way I'd lose is draw too few lands, and then I just drew all lands. I don't love it. I got a bone to pick here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put the Tragic Banshee on top of their deck, which is also not an ideal play. <laughs> Let's crack this first. Somehow, I, I, at the end of all this, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to end it up with like 10 lands. <laughs> I've drawn twice as many lands, and that's after getting through some of them. Uh, that's unfortunate how it all worked out. Sure, I'll keep that on top. Okay, let's pass the turn. I think I'm going to go to one here because I need to play the Sphinx. If I play the Sphinx and block, they just get to Banshee it. Okay, let's play Sphinx. And then when it attacks, I can flash something back. So I need to draw something good. Okay, that, that's a start. Attack with the Sphinx. Mm. Let's flash back, eaten alive. They're going to take it, eaten alive, casting for five mana on Strix Lookout. They're going to loot. I mean, I guess they did loot away a land or whatever, and then I'm going to play the Buccaneer and draw a card. I mean, that was pretty good. The Witness Protection is not that great right here. That was a good sequence. 
they can attack with the rat and then I have to block and then it dies and they tragic banshee is I guess they banshee the sphinx here is what they have to do all right and I can witness protection of the banshee it's a one one then the pick makes it a two two yeah all right all right we oh let's pilfer first their hand is an ice wind elemental in a land. All right, witness protection on the Banshee. Pass the turn. If they just draw a bunch of lands in a row and I draw some good spells. Okay, that wasn't a land. So I still did draw something good here. That was good. Okay, let's draw with the Spectral Sailor. Let's draw something, the Bouncer. Uh, oops. Let's draw again. I didn't mean to say nice, but whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh -huh -huh. Classic. Uh, block, block. I mean, this does trade everything off. Maybe they'll miss at some point. <laughs> okay. They have something? <laughs> All right. So 11, 13, 15, 16. Because I have one land left. Here's where Consuming Aberration would have been nice. All right, let's play the Bouncer. I don't really have time to, to waste here. The Ratoncito. All right, discard. I'm, I'm just going to get naturally decked here. The way this is going to work out, probably. All right, well, pass. Yeah, I have to block. Let's see what they got. <laughs> I just went through every card in my deck? Huh? That's fair. That's fair. All right, yeah, let's counter that and draw a card. I don't think I have enough... <laughs> I have all cantrips left. Uh, sure. <laughs> I haven't been naturally decked so far in this in this uh in this set, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Uh, this is really funny. Mm, all right. <laughs> Boom. Let's discard another cantrip. Well, there we go. <laughs> that was round one, huh? <laughs> Let's take a look real quick. Is there? Do I want a Vampire Soul Caller? If I were to add a card, this would be it because it can get. I have a lot of good cards to get back. Maybe. Maybe I don't want this Witness Protection. All right, let's try that. That would have. That would have certainly worked out a lot better. All right, <laughs> back in for round two here. All right. Yeah, that was awkward. The consuming aberration getting eaten by the harpy and then me having to put the harpy back on top, or the banshee rather, not ideal. Now I draw this. <laughs> I'm going to keep this hand, but uh, we'll see how this goes. If they don't have some good plays here, they're white-green, so they're going to get some stuff into play. All right. Basically, I would hope to draw... Well, this is actually fine. At least it's a swamp. Okay, so they're going to get to play something on three. They got an island? Ooh, okay. I really don't want to lose to the three-color green deck. Oh, I don't think you should play more than two colors very often. I don't think you should play green very often. But loot is a pretty great card. All right. Well, eh, this is all right. They have a spell. They have the plus one, plus one counter trick, I think. If they just go land, land, and use loot here, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, they're probably going to play a spell, then, I would imagine. And I can refute it. All right, refute that. Draw. Uh, let's discard the wall. I think it's too late for that. I really don't want them using loot here, so what I'm going to do is play a bouncer, and I'm going to bounce it. 
Yeah, I'm sure they have one white. I don't remember the name. Give a creature a plus one plus one counter flying for all con combat damage that would be dealt to it this turn. If I bounce loot, that way in the next turn, even if they draw land, they can't activate it. And because activating loot is really bad. You just put a six drop creature into play. Look at the top six cards. Um, and then next turn, I can go Micromancer, get eaten alive. Uh, sure. I, I think they have the card. Oh, uh, all right. I'm fine. Either. I'm fine with that trade. Loot. Or they have give a creature indestructible. That's that's another option. Oh, another big fin bouncer. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems actually pretty good just to bounce it. And it's funny. Witness protection would have been so much better than this vampire soul caller. I would just put it on loot and cast my sphinx. <laughs> oh, well. Well, they have land number six. So now they're going to play loot again because it's kind of hard not. Really? That's their play? Leaving a green up? I guess I don't understand, but uh, I'll take the opportunity to play a rat. Make them discard a card. It's going to be a spell. An expel Hydra. Huh. Loot, refute. No looting for you. Mm, eating alive sounds pretty good. I could just discard the Micromancer now. Yeah, I guess so, because... I want Eaten Live and Vampire Soul Caller is, I think, better than Micromancer here. Uh, I'm going to take it because I still think they have a trick. And now I have Eaten Alive just to kill it here. Weary Thespian. I can block that one pretty easily. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm going to attack with Burglar Rat. Are they going to block it with the Wary Thespian? If they do, then that's fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm willing to sacrifice a creature to uh, save four mana here. And then I'm just going to go Island Go, because I can play Sphinx, and then next turn get Sphinx going here. I've got Oh, eaten alive to get with it. Okay, helpful hunter. So, what? We don't have... Oh, this is the blue splash. Is the Kai car. Sure. That makes some sense. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll block here. If they don't play a creature that I can eat alive here, that's fine. So, what is their... What is their spell, then? I'm pretty sure they have a single white spell. It would seem to be so. But... I guess who knows? All right. Well, play Sphinx. They got something here. Yeah, they're looking at my graveyard. I'm not going to cast this Eaten Alive right now. I am going to attack with the Sphinx, though. I'll target the Refute. <laughs> Doesn't really do much because they could just play something in response, but now they can't play anything into turn. It doesn't get exiled if I don't use it, so it actually doesn't matter which one I use. All right, and then I'll play Vampire Soul Caller. And I could get back Burglar Rat. That seems kind of nice. I'm going to get a spell here. And I have it eaten alive to, to make use of it. Though I could also just pay five for eaten alive at this point. They're going to discard that trick finally? <laughs> yes, there was the destructible trick, which they just never used. Who knows? Yeah, I'll actually block. I'll just cast Eaten Alive for full retail. They have Day of Judgment or something? They're trying to save up the indestructible trick for Day of Judgment? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Needle Tooth Pack. Does this have Reach? No. It has Morbid, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to attack Flashback Eaten Alive. Okay. I mean, this looks pretty great to me. Sphinx got to cast a removal spell. They need to play something pretty good here, or they're just going to die to my flyers. <laughs> Authority of the Consuls. Oof, not a good one. Oh, that is a good one. All right. That actually stops me from attacking. 
Well, let's play a 9-9 Consuming Aberration and they gain a life. It's past the turn, and now I have to draw an answer to a 1-4 Reach Death Touch. The Showstopper, the Snare Spinner. Well, I mean, the Consuming Aberration is going to actually get to attack. In fact, I just get to attack with everything here. Obviously, if I draw something, it's just game, but... Target or Refute. They, they're just priced into blocking Consuming Aberration here, and then taking 6 down to 5. Uh, I'll play an island and go to Swamp and say go. Okay. All right, all right. A little messy, but we got there. One and one. Let's keep going. All right. Battling our way up to Mythic Ranks. <laughs> or trying to, at least. I'm on the play. Oh, easy keep. Again, no, no plays for the first three turns, but uh, A, I could draw one. B, I'm on the play, and C, Big Vin Bouncer on turn four. It does a pretty good job of, uh, whoa, intense, uh, you know, keeping keeping the enemy forces at bay here. What would I want to draw most here? Honestly, the, the rune engraved wall would be pretty nice, but I'll take a burglar rat or something. Land is not ideal. A refute would be really good here, too. Oh, Vampire Gourmand, all right. Uh, I feel like I was hoping taking a couple weeks, having some twins, maybe start getting lucky again. No, no, that's just not what's going to happen. All right, they're going to sack their, this, like, this is just a great start, too. They draw a card, they make a 4-3. I mean, I do get to bouncer the Vampire Gourmand here, and then I can block Infernal Vessel. But, I mean, this isn't too bad. Next turn, I get to cast Eaten Live or Uncharted Voyage. Oh, I'll definitely block. Please don't have a fake your own death. That would have been annoying. And, okay. Oh, they have two plays? You. Okay, okay. Uh, I think. Darn Eaten alive, the vampire, or leave up Uncharted Voyage. I think I'll just leave up Uncharted Voyage. Part of it is eaten alive, casting it for one mana is pretty great. At some point, I might just do that. All right. I actually think I'm going to discard the Spectral Sailor here. So I'm just not spending mana on that anytime soon. And then I'm going to Uncharted Voyage the vampire. No, no thank you to the Cerberus thing. Oh, I'll leave that on top. They can attack, but now nothing's died, so it's not going to get to untap. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take three, I guess. <laughs> All right. Can't catch a break here. Uh, let's go. Mm. Like this. All right. They can give me Sphinx. Basically, I want to put the island in the in the in the stack with the two spells. All right, that's fine. They're gonna kill my curator, and I'm gonna lose. But you know, yeah. All right, I'll block. Okay, it has Death Touch, so it was just a trade, but that's fine. I don't mind that at all. And they play Vampire Gourmand and a Courageous Goblin. Okay. And the Cerberus does untap here. Um, turtle. Huh. Play Turtle. I could sack it to Eaten Alive to kill the Cerberus. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's not, I guess I could block the Cerberus, but the reason I want to do that is it makes it so this Courageous Goblin no longer has plus one, plus oh in Menace. And this way they can't attack with it unless they have a four power creature. They can still attack with the rat or the vampire and eat the rat, but I take a lot less damage if that happens. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I take two, go to nine. If they play something too good, I can counter it, which I guess I just will. 
draw, I think I'll put the Buccaneer down. I think that's not as good as a Micromancer here. Oh, uh, this would be a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep the Sphinx up. Okay. You're going to sack the Goblin, I guess? Oh. If they have something here. <laughs> yep. All right. I guess I'm dead. Yeah, they drew some, some nice ones there. All right. One and two. I feel like, I feel like this has just not been working out. I, I, this deck is very good. Or two and two, maybe. No, one and two, actually. Yeah, one and two. I feel like this deck is good, but just, I don't know. I uh, I guess that hand, I didn't have a play till turn four. Yeah, that, that obviously is a downside. And then, could have done some things differently, of course. Always can. But the turn where they just attacked and sacked the rats and had no other play, they, they immediately drew Heroes Downfall Brazen Scourge. They did not have either of those cards in their hand. So they actually had to have drawn between the, the Vampire Trigger and then the next turn, those, I think. Uh, well, what can you do, I guess? All right, let's try to pick up a couple wins here because uh, I think that uh, this deck deserves it. All right, I mean, here I've got a Fleeting Distraction to cycle. I can Pilfer to take them off a of play, and then I've got some good fours, and they mulliganed. I'm just waiting till I miss my third land drop here. <laughs> We'll see, though. We'll see. Lenor Elves? No, they have Bushwhack in their hand, though. I drew a land. The Auto Tapper reveals all. They're just, that's what, that's the spell they could have and not play, you know, on turn one. All right, Pill for You. And just Cackling Prowler and Elvish Regrowth. All right, I'm going to take the Regrowth creature. If I don't win this game, then I'm done with this draft. That's just because I, I, I will. I don't get to play anymore because that'll be my third loss. But I don't think I'm going to lose this game. I mean, I guess if I don't draw a land, I can. Ward 2, right? Yeah. I'm happy to cycle it. I just need to find a land. All right. So I can't use the big fin bouncer, but I can. I can play Sphinx and Pilfer again. Yeah, that seems okay. I also have Refute up if they play something good here. They put something better than me playing Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Another Cackling Prowler. Yeah, let's just go ahead and refute that. I think that's fine. Do they have a Snakeskin Veil? All right, now I can discard a land. Hmm. It's feeling like Snakeskin Veil or Giant Growth. So let's go ahead and pass. I have kind of the same line of play up here. I'm going to go to 12. Hopefully they don't have something. Then I play Sphinx. And then I can pilfer them. And I think get that trick out of their hand. All right. Pilfer. And if it's Snakeskin Veil, it's a little more annoying. Giant Growth and a Needle Tooth Pack. Interesting. Um... All right, I'll take the Needle Tooth pack. Then I'll play Micromancer. They didn't play it into a counterspell. It actually worked out really well for me. <laughs> and then I'll get eaten alive here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the Prowler with Micromancer. They can use the Giant Growth if they want. Their Prowler is going to get a plus one, plus one counter from Morbid. But then I can just bounce it, play Big Pin Bouncer, pay for Ward. And then it comes back as a 4-3, which can trade with the Bouncer. I've eaten alive. If I draw a mana, I can just pay seven to kill it. Or draw was Flame Wake Phoenix, huh? All right. Well, it's not the end of the world. It's not ideal, but let's see. Draw Bouncer. Bounce the Prowler. Pay two, and then no attacks with my Sphinx either. I'll just block the Phoenix. It can come back next turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, still fine here, because I have eaten alive, but uh, 
Why did it tap like that? <laughs> I guess I should have. I, my plan was to double to, to cast it twice. All right. Well, guess I'll I'll get fleeting distraction. Oh, that has reach. No, it has vigilance. Okay, for a second I thought it had reach. I'll go to two. Auto tapper. Why would you do that? I mean, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll let that speak for itself. Welcome back, everyone. Glad to be here. I'll see you uh, next time I see you. We'll see when that is. <laughs> Later, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.